A lot of Met people are trying to uh, read the runes of, uh, has it been called the troll from Trondheim, I think, by some people, this uh, uh, Arctic <laughs> weather coming down from Norway? <laughs> well, it's probably more accurate than the beast from the east at the moment, Mark, I have to say, <laughs> because uh, although the winds have been, well, northeasterly for several days, and that's why we've seen the temperatures drop at the end of November into the first early days of December, we've seen those dropping temperatures. There is certainly a chill in the air, but the winds are going to go northerly uh, once we get through tomorrow, and that is a sign of things to come, I have to say. OK. Now, it is a winter of discontent, we know, politically. And, of course, it is uh, memories of 1978-79 when we also had a similar situation out on the picket line, but also weather-wise, because it really was very severe weather at that time. And although I think we've got some pretty severe weather coming up in the next week, we can't really say it's going to go much beyond that. Although, having said that, of course, it is the weather and it doesn't take too much to, uh, to upset the butterfly wings. Yeah. And we get into a chaotic situation once again. In, indeed, and, and people always say, oh, you know, they're always warning about these things and it never is, is quite as bad. However, have we been softened up because we've had such a warm, mild autumn? Well, indeed we have. I think it has been the, uh, the mildest, hasn't it, for, uh, since 1884 records, going back to 1884, uh, for the three months of autumn. So it has been exceptionally mild. November tailed off at the end. It was extremely mild for a long time. It did get a bit chillier later on, so it wasn't the mildest November. I think that was 1994. Uh, but nonetheless, yes, uh, we do get a bit soft, don't we? I think it is a time now for, uh, for putting on the extra layers. But, of course, these are harsh times and we yeah, are having yeah. to pay big energy bills as well. So we don't want to put the heating on too much. But I think as far as this week's concerned, certainly it is going to be so chilly that we need to, uh, to try and help ourselves. It is going to be extremely cold, especially at night. I mean, daytime temperatures are going down to about two or three degrees through the week as an absolute maximum for many parts of the country. And at night, we're going to have some severe frosts. And those hard frosts will occur when you've got some snow already lying on the ground. Well, the snow at the moment is mainly on the Grampians, uh, but it is set to get worse during Wednesday across northern Scotland. And then those wintry showers, sleet and snow showers start to feed further south. And there will be a covering of snow in some places, not everywhere by any means. Uh, but certainly there will be some snow on the ground. That's when you get your really harsh temperatures at night. So we could be looking at some severe frost, minus six to minus eight. OK. And uh, where uh, is that band going to go to? I mean, how far south could it get? Because clearly, once it reaches London, the, the newspapers wake up and realise that there's a problem out there. That's when everybody starts ringing me again. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Marvellous. <laughs> but I've got my cup of tea here. I'm on champagne at the moment. Uh, yeah. But, uh, no, I think we're going to see uh, a band of snow probably extending out of Scotland for the middle of the week. It's probably going to bring some uh, extensive snowfall across the higher ground, more particularly of the northwest Midlands, northwest England, Lancashire, the high ground of the Pennines, and into Wales as well. Wales could be pretty badly hit from this, and there'll be some snow on the moors of the West Country as well later in the week too. Now, it's just about possible at the moment that we could see a little thread of this snow coming across to the southeast of England, probably uh, in particular during uh, Saturday, I think, at this stage. It's a little bit up in the air at the moment, if you don't mind the pun, uh, yeah. but uh, I think we are going to see some snow further south from, from northern Scotland where it is going to set in in anger during Wednesday. OK, John, thank you for that. We'll let you get back to your cup of tea, but uh, drink it quickly because we might be back to you in a, in a day or two, I think, looking yeah. at that. Cheers. <laughs> thank you very much indeed for your time. Nice to talk to you again.